And she grabbed his yacht shorts bullseye. I'm sorry, what? Yacht shorts bullseye. What does that mean? I've no idea. <laughs> Well, then don't have such a serious face on. Yacht shorts bullseye. Can we move on? <laughs> yeah, but I'm just so confused. Yacht shorts bullseye. How many times? Are... I'm, just, I'm just glad that I got through the line. <laughs> and you're then questioning it. I'm like, no, no, that's exactly what it said. I'm just proud of myself. Is that the end of the sentence? Um, as she grabbed his yacht shorts bullseye full stop. So that's the bit of, I guess... His penis. Yeah. Within the yacht shorts. Yeah, within the yacht shorts. Oh, right. I it's see. the bullseye. In walk the other two regional sales managers, Patrick O'Hamlin and Dave Wilcox. Yay. Nice to see you guys. Merry yeah. Christmas. I'm over the moon. It suddenly felt like Xmas. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Would you stop? It's beginning to look a lot <laughs> like, like Xmas. Xmas. <laughs> Really? Her surrounded by a fucking regional sales manager makes her feel Christmassy. We're dreaming of a white Xmas. It suddenly felt like Xmas. <laughs> and Belinda got up and started to microwave the mulled wine. <laughs> enough oxygen getting to my brain (laughs) or Rockies oh my god okay that is my favourite line I think in any of the Belinda Blink books it suddenly felt like Xmas and Belinda got up and started to microwave the mould red wine (laughs) oh my god (laughs) oh god and I mean, I couldn't even get the words out, but why is there a microwave in her office? Oh, God. So she can scramble the egg, like, between meetings. <laughs> a really quick jacket potato. <laughs> that is cracking. Oh, my God, that has made my Xmas. Full-sized gilt mirror at one end. She walked over to the WC and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The WC. WC. Yeah. Is that him trying to be posh? I think it is. Because that's quite a British phrase, isn't it? People don't say WC elsewhere, do they? No, water closet. Water closet. No, my dad's never used the phrase WC. (laughs) Upon which I need to speak. Is it a period drama all of a sudden? Upon which? Replied a now tentative Belinda. (gasps) She's going to ask for more money. She's going to give in her resignation? I have to be completely honest. Oh my God. Bella needs to be rewarded as well. Oh. Now that's nice. You could say she was the body lotion that lubricated the moving parts that is Jim Sterner. <laughs> For God's sake. As Ken left the room to take the call, Belinda noticed the whole office wall was a sheet of glass, looking into the busy canteen full of lorry drivers in dirty blue overalls. A window. A window. <laughs> <laughs> Why are the lorry drivers wearing dirty overalls? Oh yeah, good point. It's clean work, driving a lorry. What does that mean? Google it. Why are you getting on your bloody high horse about it? I'm just defending my dad. Wilco's a very well-known saying. Then put it in context for us, you little (laughs) shit. (laughs) Roger Wilco may refer to... Peter, we just had good old-fashioned sex. (laughs) (laughs) It's what we both wanted. And when you get what you want, you feel great. (laughs) Simple as. I'm loving it. This is Belinda's mantra. (laughs) There's no mystery to it. So gross. Ken shoved a grubby white envelope onto (laughs) Belinda's desk (laughs) and hung up his parka. Parka, because Northern. (laughs) It's cold and north. What's Northern? Oasis and Parkers. Okay, great. (laughs) What's your name? As he stripped himself naked and jumped in the pool. (laughs) Don't wait for the answer. Oh, okay, bye. (laughs) Oh my God, that's so brilliant. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> so how are you? See ya! <laughs> His companion joined him. Belinda looked across at Bella. They both nodded and seconds later jumped in. Great. I'm Belinda. <laughs> I'm Bella. Oh, God. I'm Doug. And I'm Chuck. <laughs> and we are... <laughs> and tonight, Matthew, we are... The Ranch Crew. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. 
You a star. I feel like he's not. I feel like he's got the easiest job in town. Belinda checked her bag onto the Brussels shuttle. Well, (laughs) (laughs) give a change. I thought you were sat at her desk. (laughs) Oh, come on. To be fair, there's like two spaces. Okay. Belinda checked her bag onto the Brussels shuttle and walked to the departure area. But so she's done the flight and she's there. Oh, she's there. Oh, right, sure. She's in town. She's in Brussels. She's there. She's on the Brussels shuttle. Does that name ring a bell? No, just posh, I think. Oh. She's the top purchasing executive for the hypermarket chain Five Car in France. What? Okay, two things. What? There's a hypermarché in France. Do not say hypermarché. <laughs> There's a hypermarché. Hyper. <laughs> a hyper ooh. I have a oh, oh, an hyper ou. What the hell are you two talking about? It's not hyper ou, babe. It's hyper ou. No, but there's a hyper mache called four carré, right? Oh, four carré. <laughs> <laughs> they start in boogieing. <laughs> what is the game? Like, why is the young chair in the first place? <laughs> what is the game? It's a song we sing. What is, is the, the game? game? No one knows the game. What, what is the game? game? Where my clothes go? What is the game? <laughs> Where my skirt at? What, what is, is the, the game? game? My keys were in there. What <laughs> is the game? That was my grandma's. What <laughs> is the game? But my lady, what about my needs? Oh, all right, uppity. I need your attention too. Please don't desert me. Uh, <laughs> is she saying this when she's right by a vagina? <laughs> she's still like, well, She's well. talking to the vagina. <laughs> the Duchess switched off the remote. Oh. I own these, he said proudly. The full terrace? Been in the family for over a hundred years. Belinda. Blink. <laughs> and that is the end what? of the chapter. <laughs> what a boring end. What a boring end. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Uh... And Belinda gave in to nature. Gave in? <laughs> Did she? Call of nature. <laughs> she was. <laughs> she is a woodland trail. Look at that. <laughs> Not once. But twice. Oh, I see. Before the inevitable blue ejaculation cut across her dreams. Cut <laughs> <laughs> Oh, for God's <laughs> sake. Let's read that one in context, shall we, guys? What beautiful poetry. <laughs> the pace picked up. Jim's cock was rubbing her clit just right, and Belinda gave in to nature. Not once... <laughs> But twice before the inevitable blue ejaculation cut across her dreams. <laughs> Come on! Like a shooting star. <laughs> you cut across my dreams the first time I saw you with your blue jizz. <laughs> you make my dreams come blue. <laughs> Come, on. <laughs> Come on! Brilliant. Can't fault it. Your dad wrote that and thought, that's fucking beautiful. He thought, that's gorgeous. He's that. going for the man booker with that one. Do you think he was crying as he wrote that? He was yeah. like, I can't believe this. <laughs> he thought, those ebook buyers are not going <laughs> to believe it. This is my citizen Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Belinda. Oh, my. Well, she's tall and thin. <laughs> my bad. Famously squeaky voice. And <laughs> stunningly <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> The transport plane was already full to the brim with the weekend editions of The Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> so she stole... What? Oh, yeah, because The Guardian gets delivered in an X bit fight. <laughs> right, they just push it out the back of the plane while the mid-flight. Like, once again, set about tightening herself to give Monsieur Redot the ride of his week. <laughs> <laughs> she knows her limitations. <laughs> She's like, not of his life, because this isn't my best work, but of the week. He's got a very experienced French mistress at home. Monsieur Redon. We're the Glee team. <laughs> Come and get us. <laughs> Was their drunken mantra. Robin's waved to a chair at the far side of the room. Cooey. <laughs> yeah, just waved. Hiya. Especially business friends. Not a term. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they were. Just didn't cut the mustard when it came to family. Eh? There's a whole new paragraph that consists of two words. Oh, God. Yes. Family. (gasps) Next paragraph. Uh, What? Uh, I don't know. What is going... Just tell us the fucking name and let's go on with our lives. (laughs) Christ. James. Yes. Family. Family. (laughs) (laughs) I love that he's written that and he's been like, that's profound. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's the quote. <laughs> that's going to be on a t-shirt. Yes, yes. comma family. family. <laughs> Tony blinked. <gasps> oh, this is a little twist. 
And that is the end of Belinda Blink 2. <laughs>